It's that time of the day that I could really use a nap. If only I was a napper. I could definitely use a nap right now. Hello, and welcome to today's vlog. Today, I'm off from work, and it is Tuesday, April 16th, the day after tax day. It's 2.30 in the afternoon, and I've just been doing a lot of just random stuff this morning. On my off days, it's just kind of like, it's one of those things that's like a toss up of, do I just actually take a, an off day or a rest day from work and everything and actually enjoy my day off by doing nothing? Or do I use this day, because it is my only off day, to get everything else in the freaking world that I gotta do done because <sighs> that's what you do when you're an adult. So today was one of those days, kind of, sort of. So this morning I was productive, but it kind of tapered off and I haven't been that productive for the first half of the earlier part of the afternoon. But now we're gonna go to the gym. I've got some other things I need to get done today. Don't know if it's gonna happen. Just kind of depends on how I feel after the gym. But today is an upper body training day. I believe the last video I did, which was kind of quite some time ago, I guess almost going on a month ago. Sorry, I apologize. It's just been one of those times in my life where I just didn't feel like vlogging and there's just been other things that have been taking up my time. And it just feels good, you know? It just feels good sometimes not to feel obligated, you know, to film. Anyways, I digress. But today's gonna be an upper body workout. We're gonna be starting off with bench press, which I'm super excited because as you know, since my surgery, that has been my, for obvious reasons, my slowest recovery, strength gaining movement, I guess, of getting back in the gym is chest day or anything that involves the chest, really. So um, I really look forward to these days just seeing how much further I can progress. And for that manner, when it comes to powerlifting, bench is has always been my weakest lift anyways. So I always like, like it when that day comes around to challenge myself. And as you'll probably see in this video for my setup for bench, Max Fitness, where I work out at, is not a powerlifting gym. And it is not very friendly to petite girls like myself and for powerlifting. So I have to do all these like crazy modifications and get creative in the gym to get a setup that works best for me but even at that it's not optimal for me especially for bench so it just kind of sucks because I feel like I could probably progress that much better in bench if I had an actual like powerlifting bench setup for me of a person of my size. Anyways I'm gonna stop rambling on and since I need a nap but I'm not a napper we're gonna be taking a pre-workout as always we're taking a first form. This is the V2 megawatt one of my favorite pre-workouts by them. This is in the kiwi, no, this is in the strawberry kiwi flavor, as y'all know, per usual. Maybe I'll be watching me for a very, very long time. I don't like to drink my pre-workouts, especially my pre-workouts. I just like to take a shot of it to the dome, just like so. just like that, you're done. The other component I'm gonna be using today, which is a product from First Form that I've been wanting to use for a really long time. I got it a couple months ago, and I've been incorporating it mainly on my upper body days, is this Alpha Surge DRV. It's a capsule form. Essentially, it is a really powerful nitric oxide pump product. And I love it because I seriously see a difference, especially on my upper body training days when I take it. It gives me such an incredible pump in the gym, and it's that kind of pump that it feels like like your skin is about to like just tear and rip. That may not be appealing to most women out there, probably pretty and most appealing to guys, but I like it, and if you're a woman that likes that feeling too, then you'll definitely like this product as well. The only downside that I will say to this product, you have to take 10 capsules, but 10 capsules is one serving size. That is the recommended serving size for this, which I don't have a problem with that because, again, I'm a person I would whether take like a shot to the dome or take it in a capsule form because I don't want to have to drink any extra liquids than I already have to because I drink a lot of water throughout the day. And I'm constantly having to pee during my workouts because I have a baby bladder and I drink a lot of water. So I personally don't mind taking 10 capsules of this. I did first start out with just like five capsules, so like half of the recommended dose when I first started taking it. 
um, just because they do actually suggest that because or at least kind of gauging your um, like your workout activity and kind of your endurance during your workout because this stuff is like legit you may feel like you might get a little lightheaded or just kind of extra like woo you know from your workout you just kind of have to gauge it yourself but I really do enjoy it I do think it helps with my list tremendously especially on upper body days and that is what I need right now so I'm gonna go ahead and take my 10 capsules and get ready for the gym so I guess I'll see you there and stop rambling because I've already been talking for like six minutes for no reason. <laughs> Somebody begging to go out again. Look at you. You heard the O-U-T word. Are you wanting to go out again? <laughs> Anyways, that was a pretty good workout. Actually, a really great workout. I, I don't know if I mentioned that already, but recovery is going really great. I am just really amazed. Okay, making noises back there. I'm just really amazed about how well or how fast my strength has gotten um, or came back up especially on upper body day, especially on um, chest day. But I didn't mention it before I did the recording today, but today I was supposed to do a new five rep flat bench PR for five reps, a five rep max um, for 2019 or, you know, post-surgery. So I showed that, I think that was the only clip I did film for flat bench was um, 95 pounds for five. I think I, I could have easily done a 105, but I didn't have a spotter because my boyfriend doesn't work out with me anymore. <sighs> Calling him out again. Didn't have a spotter and then I'm just that person. I'm not going to ask anybody that I don't know in the gym to spot me. I didn't really see anybody that I knew personally, just some regulars in there. But I'm also just, um, I'm also just really stubborn. I don't like to ask for a spot anyways. So I just kept it safe and just kept it at 95 pounds. So 95 pounds for five reps. 
absolutely no pain, no discomfort, no nothing. It just felt really good and really strong. So we're just gonna we're just gonna take the 95 for five as my new kind of flat bench PR rep right now. But anyways, um, guys, geez, even my arm is even my arms are sore from holding my tripod and camera up right now. But um, yes, I can't even talk. I have like post workout like fog brain or something right now. It's um, 4:45 right now, and I'm gonna just have a protein shake. I usually have like obviously a high protein and like a higher carb like post workout um, meal, but I was bad today and um, I didn't really have like much food at the house, so I just kind of like ate whatever I wanted today, just kind of as the day came. So I did track everything, but because I just kind of ate whatever I wanted, um, not really in regards to nutritional value, I already ate all my fats and carbs for the day, and I'm super low on my protein. Of course, I have like. Uh, let's see, I've only eaten like 78 grams of protein today, so, wow, I can't math. I need at least like 60 more grams or so. Is that right? 60, 50, yeah, I need like 60 something grams of protein. Ah! I have my post-workout brain, I can't even think right now. So anyways, I basically just have protein left for the day and it's 445, so I'm just gonna be eating like strict protein for the rest of the day. This is not a great example, this is not how I usually eat, I'm usually like, pretty spot on about timing my meals. And especially like post-workout, I'm a huge advocate for eating something high protein, and high carbs to refill your body, refill your muscles. Um, but, you know, I'm just trying to stick as close to my macros today as I can. So with that, another favorite just pre-protein shake that I have been loving lately is actually Slim Fast. Like the Slim Fast, um, this is in the, cap the mocha cappuccino flavor. Listen, I'm, if you're like me, I used to give like Slim Fast products like a bad rep, but this is actually really good. It's super tasty. The ingredients are pretty darn good. The macros on it are pretty darn good. It's nine grams of fat, six carbs, and 20 grams of protein, and it's a delicious flavor, and it's caffeinated. This one has, I think it says, as much caffeine as a cup of coffee. So I have been loving these lately. Y'all also know that my other go-to like pre-made shake is the Premier Protein Shakes. Gosh, my arms are so tired. Weak. But this has became my second best pre-protein shake. Now, obviously, I love First Form, and I love, like, First Form, like, protein powders. I think they're some of the best tasting protein powders out there. I, like, am not biased. I 100% mean that from the bottom of my heart. However, also, you know, for those of you who've been watching me forever, I just hate anything that involves a shaker cup. But for some reason, I dread washing a shaker cup. I don't know why. It's a weird pet peeve. OCD thing of mine, I don't know. You know we all have like these little weird niches about us? That's a weird thing about me. I just hate the thought of washing a shaker cup. I haven't even drink, been drinking my BCA, BCAAs lately during my, my workouts because um, I just don't want to wash a shaker cup. So I mostly use the first form protein powders for like baking and making like pancakes and stuff like that or just putting in my meals because they're so delicious and so tasty. But I have been investing in just pre-made protein shakes where I can just drink it, chug it really quick and throw it away and there's no shaker to wash. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but that's just how I am. So that's what I'm about to drink right now as my only post-workout. And it does have some caffeine in there. Um, I normally wouldn't have caffeine after a a workout. This is just such a bad example in this video, so don't do what I do today. But <laughs> I'm just telling you of how my Tuesday is going. Um, I will actually be making some dinner later on, which I'll probably show you what I make because I'm going to try to use my air fryer. Uh, uh, there it is. Yeah, I'm going to try to use my air fryer. I've only used it for like vegetables so far, but I'm trying to cook some chicken in there later on and maybe some okra. So I'll show you what I actually meet as a real, eat as a real meal later on. But right now, I'm going to take the afternoon to work on something that I'm in the works of, which goes along with a lot of the questions I get about, am I doing online coaching still? Am I taking on clients? The short answer is no. I would like to do another video and address why I am currently not doing one-on-one -on -one training anymore at this point in my life. But there is something that I'm working on that I will be launching soon. So stay tuned for that. So that's what I'm going to spend a couple hours doing right now. And then I guess that's all I have to do because once again, I'm rambling and I can't stop talking because that's all I do is I just ramble. So I will catch you in the next clip. 
three hours later. Okay, so I was in the zone and did not realize that it was past seven o'clock doing computer work. So I am now making me my dinner. So I have my two chicken breasts here and the seasonings I use is salt and pepper, some paprika, red pepper, uh, garlic, and before I seasoned all of it, I poured a little bit of this pure sesame seed oil on there. Haven't done that before. I just thought I would try it out and set it off the oil and just see how it comes out. And then what I'm going to be having on this side, I'm also going to be air frying up some okra. So what I have in the okra is regular olive oil, salt, and garlic powder. And then I put them in the Ziploc bags. I actually meant to do this earlier today because I usually like to let these sit and marinate for a couple of hours, at least 30 minutes in the refrigerator, which is about the time that the chicken will take to cook up in the air fryer. So I'm just about to start my air fryer, put my chicken on in there. I believe the chicken will take anywhere from like 20, 25 minutes in the air fryer. And then since those take, take the longest, I'm cooking those first and then I'll put the okra in there. The okra usually will, will take about 15 to 20 minutes, depends on how crispy you like them. I'm just gonna go ahead and set it to about 12 minutes. I'm pregnant because these are some pretty big chicken breasts, so uh, they're probably gonna cook closer to 25 to 30 minutes. But I'm just setting it to 12 minutes at a time because after 12 minutes, I'm actually gonna flip the chicken breast and let it continue cooking at 350 degrees. So this is the final product, the air fried okra. I have 65 grams of air fried okra and then chicken. And then the best thing to dip the okra with is some fat free ranch and some sriracha sauce. You mix it all in to make it like a spicy ranch sauce. It is so delicious. And I'm not even gonna use anything for the chicken because the chicken is so freaking juicy and moist. I hate that word, but it's so juicy and a nice little crust on the outside. The chicken doesn't even need a sauce, but this is going to be my dinner for the nut. So I'm going to enjoy it while Slater Mater watches me. Okay, letting Slater Mater out for one last time for the night. Oh, I uh, guess you can see me. Let me move my face. To the light. I am a less later. Go outside, do his business one last time, and then I'm gonna get ready to go to bed. I just finished up putting all the food that I had, and but yeah, I'm just gonna call it a night. I hope that y'all enjoyed the video, and hopefully, I'll get another video out to y'all much sooner than this one has going up. So I do apologize for the delay in an updated video, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Say bye, Slate, wherever you are. <laughs> bye, y'all.